Now let's take a look at two examples of adding mixed numbers with like denominators. The first step is going to be to write this problem vertically, lining up the whole numbers and the fractions. So we'll have two and one-sixth plus three and one-sixth. And now we'll add the fraction part and then the whole number part. And because we already have a common denominator, we can go ahead and add these two fractions. The denominator is going to stay six, and then we'll add the numerators. One plus one is equal to two. And then looking at the whole numbers, two plus three is equal to five. Now once we determine the sum of two mixed numbers, we have to check for two things. First, we want to make sure the fraction here is in simplest form, and we also want to make sure that it's a proper fraction, not an improper fraction. This is a proper fraction because the numerator is less than the denominator, so that's good, but we do have to simplify it. Two and six share a common factor of two. Two six is the same as two all over two times three, so here's the common factor of two, so two sixths simplifies to one third. Remember two over two is equal to one, so these are simplifying to ones, they're not disappearing. So this is equal to five and one third. Let's take a look at a second example. We'll first write this vertically, so we'll have five and seven eighths plus eight and five eighths. Again, we already have a common denominator, so we can go ahead and add these fractions. The denominator is going to stay eight, and the numerator will be seven plus five, which is equal to twelve. And then five plus eight is equal to thirteen. Now again, we need to make sure this fraction is a proper fraction, and it's not, it's an improper fraction, but it also can be simplified. So let's go ahead and simplify this first. The prime factorization of twelve is two times two times three, and the prime factorization of eight is two times two times two. So notice how the numerator and denominator have two factors of two in common. So this simplifies to one and this simplifies to one. So this is equal to thirteen and three halves. But again, we can't leave this mixed number with the fraction part being an improper fraction. So now we have to convert this improper fraction to a mixed number and then add it to thirteen. Remember, a fraction bar represents division, so three divided by two will help us convert this to a mixed number. Well, there's one, two, and three, and we have a remainder of one. So this tells us that three halves is equal to one whole and one half. So that means that thirteen and three halves is equal to thirteen plus three halves, but three halves is one and one half. So thirteen plus one and one half would be fourteen and one half, which is the proper way to express this sum. So again, when adding mixed numbers, it's important to check to make sure the fraction part is not only simplified, but that it's also a proper fraction. If it's improper, we have to convert it to a mixed number and then add it to the whole number.